This is going to be the release tutorial for the uh, uh, PAT uh, container shifter. So this, this is branded under the PAT brand Precision Advanced Technologies. It's a diesel powered. As you can see, we have a fill hole there. It's um, rear wheel steering. There's the PAT logo. Uh, it will be set up for T test, but is yet to be um, set up. So it has a cable anchor, pintle, pintle release. We have lights. We'll go over that. Uh, we have the expandable container carriage so that it can spawn in this train hanger so you can be close to the containers. So let's go ahead and jump up and get started. So we have a protective grill for the uh, engine. We have diamond plate in here right above the arrow and the door is where your button is. So let's go in. As we get close, you notice the light comes on. If we jump in our seat, we can uh, brighten the lights. We can dim the lights. We can also turn them to red or turn them off. So we'll shut them off. Shut the door. So when we're sitting in the seat, our monitors will come on, our backlights will come on. We have the start stop button here. Let's go ahead and start it. When it's in the start position, it will auto restart if you stall. Gear position indicator. You can manually go gear up here. We have six speeds forwards and we have one speed in reverse. You can also use the three and four keys. Um, as you can see there, I don't think I have it labeled there. As you can see, we can use the three to go up and we can use the uh, four to go down. We also have uh, speed miles an hour, tachometer, engine temperature, battery. Uh, we can release our parking brake, brake defaults on. If the parking brake is released and we jump out of our seat, it will reapply the brake automatically so we can get out and uh, select containers and uh, not have to worry about it rolling away. Let's go into lights. So let's go on the outside. If I steer left, we get wigwags left on the side and on the front of the uh, vehicle. We get the same on the right if I steer right. And then if I press my hazards button, as you can see, we get flashing lights on top and we get wigwags all around. Okay. Uh, we have release container. We have spotlights. Uh, as you can see, we get a spotlight in the rear. We have spotlights in the front. If you notice, those two um, iStock spotlights are off. Um, that is based off of uh, being connected to a container or not. All right, so we have two cameras. We have forward-looking cameras, so we have a container or two. This one, this one can handle two containers at once. Uh, we can still see in front of us. This one looks down. Uh, we have a moving camera there, so this allows us to align close to a dock. It also allows us to align with the containers. We also have headlights here. If I click on my headlights, uh, you'll notice I get running lights, so I get um, my brake lights on. And let me shut off the hazards so you can see what that looks like. As you can see, with the hazards off, we get running lights all around. If I press on the brakes, we get flashing brake lights. And then if I go into reverse, we get reverse lights. All right, so let's go ahead and let's go. Uh, we can start in any gear we want. So let's look at our um, controls left. Steering is AD. Throttle brake is WS. Expand carriage is left, right. Raise lowers up, down, so we can raise our carriage. We want to raise that up before we go out here so we don't hit those two uh, blockers. Uh, gear up is three, gear down is four, and let's get moving. All right, so again, manual transmission. The benefit of manual transmission is, for example, I'm in second gear. I have it floored. I'm going to do a maximum of six miles an hour. That gives me the benefit of really uh, precise speed control, and then with just the tap of the three, I can go up. I should be able to start in any gear. Um, this is gives me kind of a um, the ability to easily do speed control, which is important so that you don't, uh, you know, as we're going to be handling close to the edge of docks, we don't want to run into things, we don't want to run into containers. And I'll show you the benefits of having a manual that um, gives you a certain set speed. So we're going to go here and we're going to grab the, um, we'll grab two containers. Uh, we'll grab that white container. We'll grab the spam behind it. So first thing we're going to do is let's look at the left. As you can see, um, left, right expands the carriage. So I'm going to press my right arrow key and hold it. And as you can see, the carriage will expand. So I want to expand it to full width. Uh, this allows us to put this in that, um, to let us launch and retrieve it in that train hanger. So next thing I want to notice is let's let's talk about our gears. So let's go down to first gear. All right, so the benefits of a manual transmission like this is if I'm in first gear and I floor it to max speed, you'll notice it's going to limit me around three miles an hour. All right, now the benefit of this is see how nice and slow and precise I'm moving? When you're trying to connect to a container, it's actually 
quicker if you take your time and make sure you align for right correctly the first time because if you have to back up it's going to take you more time all right so we're close to the container let's lower it down all right now remember i don't have to set my brake if i jump out of my seat it automatically sets my parking brake and we'll go ahead and turn on the top lock for this container it attaches you'll also notice the camera swung out now the camera is sticking over the edge so that we can see the bottom of the, uh, the side of the container. We can also see in front, so when our view is blocked by containers, we can still see. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select the bottom on this container and the top on this container. I'm going to go ahead and jump back in. All right, and we're going to get in. So I'm going to go ahead and raise this all the way up. We can handle two containers with this machine. And we're going to go all the way up so it's high enough that I don't uh, connect to that container until I'm ready. This will auto lock in place. All right. And so now we're going to keep in first gear again. That's going to give us nice, slow, precision movement. As you can see, I can just tap it. If we look at the camera here, you can see I'm coming over the edge of the container. I can just watch my camera here if I wanted. And with the nice, slow, precision movement of a manual transmission, there we go. We're in alignment with the bottom container. I can lower it down. And as you see, we grab. So let's go to max height. And as you can see, this can easily handle two containers at max height. And it locks into position. All right, as you can see. All right, let me just take a quick picture for the workshop. There we go. All right, so now let's go into reverse, and let's, uh, so I have a, a ship that has its own crane, so this would be good for moving containers. Uh, I can also load trailers with this for trucks, but um, say you wanted to load a ship with this, so let's go in reverse, and we'll start backing up. All right, as you can see with the camera, the forward-facing camera, we can still see straight ahead even though our view is completely blocked by these containers, as you can see. So let's go ahead and I'll go forward. So I can go in any gear I want. So let's say I start in 6. 6 is going to be our fastest gear. As you can see, we can get up uh, over, I think, 20 miles an hour there. As you can see, in 6 gear. So we can move nice and swiftly. All right, so now I want to put this container as close to the side of the dock as possible so that a ship can load itself. So, as you can see, we're going to use this downward-looking camera again. Now, remember, the benefit of a manual transmission is that I can uh, very accurately control my speed. So I'm going to go in first gear, and I'm going to floor it. You'll notice we never go above about 3 miles an hour. So that gives me nice, slow, precision movement so that I can uh, get nice and close to that dock without running off and ending up in the water. If you had an automatic transmission, it would try to upshift you and put you right in that water. So it's better to have a manual in this case. So here we go. I'm going to put this right on the edge. Bingo, right there. All right, so now let's lower this down and see how close I got. So with these cameras, we're able to use this in a career save and still be able to get this nice and close. So you see how that's right on the edge? That's perfect. That's going to allow us to, um, that's going to, allow us to easily um, shift these containers into position so that a, uh, so that a ship could now load um, up with containers using its own uh, crane system. All right, so next thing we'll do is we'll release these. So I'm going to go ahead and press the release container. As you can see, they drop. The camera restows automatically. Uh, we'll go into uh, reverse. And as you can see, very quick and easy, we were able to move a couple containers. So this is the container shifter. This is designed to load things like trucks. This is designed to shift containers towards docks um, to be able to um, get containers moved very quickly and in a precise way. All right, thank you for watching.